Hi, my name is John Smith. I am a technical marketing engineer for Humio. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite uh, dashboards that uh, that is a part of the uh, Humio for Falcon package, uh, and, and it's the uh, IP search dashboard. So you can install a package called CrowdStrike FDR in your Humio community edition or production Humio um, edition. And that comes with a myriad of threat hunts, workflows, that kind of stuff. Today, we're going to cover IP search. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on IP search. And I'm going to be presented with a dashboard with the myriad of, of, of results, right? Here we've got the total number of hosts that are connecting externally. Uh, the busiest IPs, if you see a host here that's got millions of, of uh, outgoing uh, outgoing sessions that could be an indication that they're you know a part of some sort of persistence then the, you have another uh, ip connections by host just some histograms but the big area i want to focus is how to search these processes it's one thing to know that you have um you've connected to a threat intelligence match or it's one thing to know that you've connected to a cobalt strike node or a node that you don't do business if you don't do business in belarus and you've got six thousand sessions well, that's good to know that you've uh, had connectivity there, but it's even better if you can get down to the process. So here I've got the ability and I've got some flexibility. You can see the asset ID or the individual node that made the connection. You can see the process and then when it, what was the connection? Who did it talk to? So for things like, hey, if I wanna see anyone doing RDP, right? assuming they're using the default port. What I'm going to get back is a list of all of the RDP commands. What's unique here is that it's nmap and not mstsc. That's definitely concerning. But also, let's say I want to see what's going on in user space. I've got a proc info um, variable here, and I can just say uh, users, right? Anything running out of users. So this is things that are not running out of system 32 or program files. And here we see some very interesting stuff. First, we see the, the program Adam updating. Uh, that's okay, I guess, although I don't really like it coming from this user uh, area, but this tells you if your end users have run or tried to install some, some unauthorized software. Here you also see go to my PC. That's also concerning, right? Is that authorized? Here you see a weird executable. So again, um, and then even more egregious, you see a copy of AD find being run. That's definitely concerning, right? So I might have a conversation with Jay Smith about why he is running AD find.exe against my domain controller. If I wanna look at every connection to my domain controller, I can also just come in here and type in that IP. Whoops. And I'm going to get back a list of all of the connectivity to my domain controller, including the executable. So, so this is where if someone renames Mimi Cats, that might be you know noteworthy. Here we see task host. If we keep going on down, it looks like there's a batch job running in map. Um, but knowing what, what executables are connecting to your domain controller can also be very valuable. Likewise, if I just want to do some basic um, thread hunting, or I just want to what I call digitally walk the beat, I can just sort the IP addresses and look at the executables that are connecting to them. So here I can, this is internal 533389. The next step, let's have a look at some of these external IPs. And here we see PowerShell making a lot of external connections. This is absolutely something that I would want to peel back uh, there are other there are other searches within the Humio for Falcon metadata that can peel this back even further if you want to get to the commands that they ran from the shell that kind of thing. So, again, this is John Smith, technical marketing engineer with Humio, and this is threat hunting for executables using remote and internal IP addresses. Thanks so much for watching.